beautiful people welcome once again to hey and clothing and in today's video we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful uh, neckline design okay it's also a request and I'm actually taking this because it's quite easy and I'll be able to quickly finish this on time because I'm still kind of weak yeah happy new year by the way guys happy new year I hope we're ready to um, have the best 2021 this year and I pray for God's blessings God grace God abundance this year and beyond and yes I hope we have we have um, taken steps to kind of improve our craft to improve our craft remember we still have a sewing kit up for grabs yes yeah, so you can see all that will be in the kits guys when you want to order just tell me you want to order this is all that you have in the kit everything as you see on here no no removal of anything as you see it here that is what you're going to be having in your sewing kit thank you to those that placed their order so far you guys are amazing and those that are still skeptical hmm, 2021 will not wait for you please make action take action the whatsapp number to order is in the description below and you see that we use it we use every one of them so it's not like i just buy it to keep because i'm going to help you out so you understand how to use it what to do and yeah we have much more tutorials to do so you need it all <laughs> don't don't be don't start thinking oh should i should i not it's just 15k it's an investment that you won't regret okay and everything that you buy on here it's not like you need to keep rebuying you've bought it you've bought it so yeah that's the best gift you can give yourself this 2021 you see guys i'm already talking too much <laughs> somebody said i talk too much is that true let me know in the comments below and yes this 2021 guys please make sure you comment i know all of you love it most yes my subscribers love me so please comment let me see we can be over ten thousand, and i'll be having just 20 comments it's not fair now after all the hard work see me now sweating sick and i'm here because i love you guys just comment put right in the comment engage please smash the like button subscribe don't this year is not yet start thinking should i should i not once you have you you've watched one two three of my videos you should already subscribe and smash the like button and comment comment even if you don't have any there must be something you have to say you can't say you don't have anything to say that you just like me even if it's just that put it there let me see let me know that i'm being appreciated it's not easy guys i love you let's start all right guys so we are ready to go i plan to draft the pattern and sew hopefully i sew if i have strength if not i'll just draft the pattern so please it's quite easy to sew so i have my full scale front remember that when you have you don't have the same thing you only do a full scale front when you do not have the same thing on both sides like for the neck you can see that it's not both bustier or it's not both just v you know so there's one thing happening on one side of the neck and another thing happening on the other side so that is when you have to do a full scale front if not you just need just a half scale front like this okay then my back as well i have my full back so remember that my back is not straight that's your back no one's back is straight you know it's either your spine curves outwards or it curves inwards most of us the spine curves inward so that means that there's a removal of which i still have my full um, back piece don't worry i'll show you how we're going to be manipulating this okay so i'll keep this away so let us begin first things first is we're going to work on yeah let's open it and we'll work on both of them together simultaneously okay for this dress it's like a drape wrapper 
it's like a drape wrapper and a blouse okay you can also do it like a gown you have the upper part of the gown and then the lower part drape the wrapper whatever so that one is just it's just like tiny gay leg you just arrange it the way you want it to arrange use pins to hold it in place and that's how you achieve that with your hands it's not everything you sew on, on machine some things you use your hands to manipulate okay so when you have this on one side you have just your normal darts you can use an armhole princess dart or a shoulder princess dart while on the other side we have kind of like a bustier so this is like the center this fold here that we can see here is representing the center of the body that's that symmetric line that divides both sides into two okay now on this side you can decide oh i want to make it an arm all princess start or oh i'll just prefer to have the normal shoulder princess start whichever one you're going to do here you don't need to tighten the shoulder you don't need to tighten anything you leave it that way and let's just do an armor princess that an armor princess that comes from the armhole so from like the mid armhole look for the midpoint and you draw your curve so that's my mid armhole then i curve it along this bust curve Okay, no worry, I'll still use a marker to sharpen what I've done here. Then yeah, you come in by half inch and you tighten it by half inch just here. And you rule your straight line. So now that we have done this, we have this okay so because this bust here will kind of like bulge and poke we need to actually um reduce it to by like half an inch so we are tightening that place so that the the um usually you see some people after they've sewn their armhole this place will not be like this i hope you can see what i'm showing you yeah we don't want it to come out puffy poof do not be like this boom yeah it's not lying flat so that's why we're removing this extra so that it relaxes properly as it ought to so let me use a marker to go over the lines So that will be that for that side if you look at the neckline we can see that it is just by this chest line or a little below the chest line okay so you can decide that oh i want my v to be yeah to be just about here in between the chest and the bust line okay or <coughs> you leave it just on the chest line but i'll let it to be in between the bust and chest line like so okay now from this midpoint measure what it what that's towards here how wide you want the neck to be so here the neck is going to be like four inches i'll just do like four inches you can do three and a half you can do three so I'll do like four inches and I'll not want the V to be sharp. So I won't use a ruler to make my V. I'm going to use this curved, like I won't use a straight ruler. I'll use this curved ruler. I'll use this side. Of course, if you use this side, it's going to be more inwards. I hope you can see how it will come in like a U. If you use this side, yeah, there's a little difference anyway. So. You just visualize and see what you want so this V is more like a straight V it's a little relaxed if you use it like this like if you put it to make this part this way let me show you what you'll be having can you see it 
that it comes in more so it's revealing more it's like half inch away from what you have here so it depends on what you want that means we are actually done with this side let me use my marker to show which of them should we go for should we go for this decent one or the um the one that shows more let's go for the one that shows more <laughs> have my meal So that would be the V neck for that side. We're through with that side. Remember, we used an armhole princess for that side. We used the V. This shoulder that will be closed, so it's not affecting anything. Now here, we're going to be doing a bustier on this other side of the garment. If you look at it clearly, the bustier comes from under the armhole. There's nothing sitting here. It's coming from here, just like on this line this bust line here from here and it's going that way so how high up do you want the bust here to sit on okay and yeah let me use a pencil I want the bust here to cover because it's really covering what you can see there so I want the bust here to come up to this point here Okay, so from this point it's going then it goes down to form the sweetheart and form the sweetheart here then it goes down here okay but before then tighten your shoulder before you do your bust here tighten your shoulder first okay and you for tightening your shoulder remember you measure what you have here three inches here okay so you're tightening more towards this side you double the size so you take two inch on this part and one inch on this part and you join it back to this bust line this um, shoulder bust point so let's draw the line so when you have that now then you can now draw your Sweetheart from this point Okay And here You connect it to so we use that line as a gauge To help us so here you just connect it to the armhole Like this so I hope you can see that you can actually tighten this more if you feel it's not going to be tight enough maybe when you're sewing you tighten it more now i'm going to draw my bust um the bust curve that's here showing how the bust is going to be okay and you tighten it by half inch So remember that this will be on the straight line. That one too will be on the straight line here. Okay. Yeah. So I hope you can see what we have done. Okay. Remember, first step: draw your armhole, princess that on one side, then do the V reduce it to avoid that extra bust that is always there by half an inch you cut it out then you come here you look for where you want it to sit a little above the chest tighten the shoulder just draw the line as a gauge tighten the shoulder then from that line do your sweetheart then here because it's going under the bust not sitting um, on your armhole there's no sleeve attached on this side so you still even need to tighten it more when you're sewing this part up so that it sits beautifully now for this other side we have not even finished though we look at it very well for this other side now you need to draw it to that point so like from here to that point okay 
then same thing from here to, to that point. So we can label them <coughs> one, um, two, and three. Okay, so we have labeled them. And you're cutting right sides up, right sides up, right sides up. Okay, so that means that you're cutting on the right side of the fabric. What else? You're cutting one piece. Here, yeah, you're cutting one piece. Cut one, cut one, and cut one. I hope you get, you're cutting one, one, one of each. Okay, and um, yeah, all this shoulder, this one we're cutting it away because this is a bust here, so. So fold this that in because you do not need it. So make sure you check that this shoulder is on a straight line. So it's already on the straight line, you don't need to add anything. So this is what the front is going to be. Front for it. Replace this, cut this, cut this, cut this. So um, attach your attach your um, wording or hair stay to it. Sew it up, close it up. You are good to go, okay? And yeah, let me show you how the back is going to be. So this is how the back is. We are going to be folding in the zip allowance, which is one inch. So we fold in one inch, fold in one inch. And just place it on the other one, along one inch. Try and eyeball it and place it along one inch. So that you can hold it down together okay so i'll just hold it down along that zipper allowance so for the back so for the back, this is what your back is going to be looking like. Something like this. Okay. I think I held that part small. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Let's fix it up. It's too small. better so this is what the back will be looking like okay do it together I see you see that how I did it I folded it in so you can even see that your back is not straight the paper even agrees ha 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 okay so the next thing you do you're going to take this right sides facing each other that means that the part of so one shoulder will be towards the side, okay. The one shoulder part will be towards, it will be on this side while the bustier part will be on this side, okay. Now we go right ahead. Take the bustier part, this is my bustier part, and you place it here, okay. Um, armhole to armhole and see how you want it to be 
so i would advise that your bustier comes just a little here from a little up here so that it sits on your armhole as well just from like here and the back bustier will actually have to be the back bustier will actually have to be straight since there is no bust or anything at the back it's just going to be a straight line okay so let's just prove the guideline let's rule the guideline for the back bust here it's a straight line like so then the neck for the back will also have to imitate the v-neck okay now take your other side again that's the front side place it so that the shoulders match up and you see how many you need to remove that from here okay remember we took four inches as well so you can even measure it to have four inches or you place your front to front okay so that everything matches up then from there you draw your v to that point to meet up that point okay so your v will be getting to that point as well so place it this way So don't let there be any sharp edges cover it out cover it out okay so what you do now is to cut it open now for your back whenever you're doing something wide like this that's whenever you're doing like a bust here both for the front for the back you have to tighten it if not this back won't sit well at your back so you tighten it by just one inch that's your dart on that point because you know you're going to be cutting through so just do like one inch tightening or you do the dart size you have here up there you know your bust here is almost like a corset So now you can cut that part out. While for this other side is a V, you can just sew your normal waist dart or you make it an armhole dart as well. Whichever one you choose to. I'll leave it for a waist dart. And now cut this part. So that dart is cut out and you'll be joining this part together to form it. So I'm going to write one two and three all this part will be cut right sides up right sides up right sides up and you're cutting one of each you're cutting one of each now if you remove this paper tape you know that when you're even cutting you have to remove the paper tape cut that part out and cut this part too out so this is what you have for the back okay and this is what you have for the front yeah. so it's going to be actually here and here, here it's going to be that way where you sew it up together the bustier will be falling on the side and the shoulder will be falling on the side so i hope you understand guys i'm actually tired to to cut and sew it but that is what it is that is what it is quite easy please do try it out let me know if you encounter any challenge cutting and sewing this okay or if you still want me to go ahead to sew it I know you you love you want to try it out yourself so try it out yourself let's see how it goes okay so guys i hope this illustration was helpful and you're willing to try it out now it has made you understand it's quite easy to do yeah so i have a victoria corset tutorial to shoot 
but I have not the tools for that video I do not have boning, cups, any of those things so till I get to the market to get them before I'll be able to shoot that video but, but thank you so much, thank you so much guys for watching till you see in the next tutorial stay safe, God bless you, bye